Okay, um, we're back with our little buggy. Um, this um, is a transmission or transfer case that I've had around forever. Pulled out of an old farm truck. Um, it's just been sitting around underneath a, the roof of an old bulldozer for years. And somehow the transmission got slapped full of water. Um, the transfer case was good. It still had clean ATF in it. Um, but this is a new process 435 and a cheap chain drive NP231. Um, I was really, there was so much water in this thing and it had been probably sitting in there for so long that I was really scared of how much um, damage was done. But it really wasn't that bad. What the problem mostly was, was that the shift rails in here got rusty from sitting. Um, we cleaned them up, filled it with oil, and honestly, it's done pretty good. For the 25 horsepower, hopefully, that we're putting through this thing, it's, it's not gonna harm it at all. So we just had to shift the, manually shift the, gears themselves around with a big brass drift and um, get them freed up. So we're gonna put the top back on, see if we can get it to shift through the gears. And uh, if so, then we're just gonna throw it in the frame and show you what we got, put some clamps on the leaf springs, <laughs> see if we can make a move under its own power. So uh, let's see what we can do. Gently, make sure you hit in the middle. Look right where you wanna hit. going. That didn't feel very good. Okay. There you go. I pull that little chunk out of there. Don't tear the... There you go. I'll peel it up out of there. There you go. Well, I'm not holes in it. Okay, we're back with this thing. We we got the, the little motor, um, the little D662 bolted up to the transmission. Um, it actually fell together. I can't believe that I mean, measurements were even as good as they are. So it's together real easy we're about to put some fuel to it and try to fire it up and the clutch looks like it even releases so um, we're gonna try it out and run it through the gears and see what it does so we've got water we've got oil we're gonna fire this thing up and see what's up got it. okay we just uh, found that the fuel pump quit pumping so it was even blocking it so we um, bypass it we have gravity going to the pump to the injector pump so I think we got it wet we're gonna close the lines off and try again
dry for so long, it was not liking life there. what it is, but I ain't liking it. Thanks for case, the planetary thing. Guess we gotta run. Here you go, yeah. yeah. Something was binding. Guess we gotta run it in a little gear. Yeah, that's not, not a lot to do with it. Here we are with our little buggy build. We got uh, our frame heck, like half mocked up. I didn't want to use leaf springs, but it's what I had in stock. These are uh, 44s front and rear um, out of a Wagoneer and the Wagoneer Springs. It's got a track lock in the front with three 325 gears in it. So it's got an open diff, 44 rear. Um, I think we're going to end up moving the wheelbase back a little bit. Uh, so we're going to cut this weld here. And I think here we're going to angle this up like, um, and make a the frame come up like a normal uh, vehicle frame would for wheel travel. Normally, we're building a platform buggy or something we do down here in Florida. Just you know, A lot of guys would just use a straight frame. But we want this thing to articulate a lot. Didn't even want the leaf springs. We wanted coil springs or uh, coilovers. But we're trying to keep this thing a real budget. I've converted the front end, which was a six lug wagon here to four or five lug. We have four rotors on this and Chevy caliper mounting brackets. Um, I've done that before, that works out real well. I'm going to end up putting Chevy caliper mounting brackets on the rear. I welded up the, the uh, axle flange from the six lug and turned it into a four five on five and a half. It's off road, so if I'm a little off, it's not perfect. Here's our powertrain. We got it built in together. We got to clean everything. Our little 662 caliber. So we're gonna get this thing mounted and just kind of set in here with some scabbed on pieces and see how we want it to set. And uh, maybe throw a steering column and a steering gear on it and, and shove it in gear and see how it does. But all right, we'll get this thing mounted, move, and maybe we'll we'll show it to you then.
All I just keep to keep just keep going around. Oh boy. Beautiful. All right. stock junk joint so as you pull the caps off stuff a little grease down in there and you spin around it holds the rollers in place okay okay now you gotta find where the other grease fitting is, right? See it? Stevie? Yep. Okay. Now, that's where that one goes, and you want it face, you want it in the same spot on the drive shaft, and you want it inboard. So that that grease fitting faces inwards, and this grease fitting faces inwards. So that goes, this joint is gonna go just like that. Yep. So now, I'll just set this in here. Like so ish. Sets, bearing caps there. You work it over, slip it on there. Okay. Trick it over. <laughs> Use it to your advantage. Yeah. Put it in there. If, it, if it binds on you, you can take your hammer mm -hmm. and you smack the vise, and it'll it'll kind of self center. Huh. So now, there you go. It around. Go back to the other side. Now you slip the U joint slightly out of that one okay. and try to mate it up with this one. You feel it when it starts slipping in. Now at this point, slide it back into the vise. Well, you can, but if you can hold it centered and just kind of you can tap your cap in firmly ish. <laughs> Sometimes these will cock, but you want to make sure you're not dropping a bearing down in there. So you watch it. Dropping one of those. Yep. Now you got to sink them down in there. You got to pay attention to what you're doing. So on this one, you take a socket, or I used to have some special. Okay, get it down below the groove. Okay. Okay. What you think of? Looks like it. Far, right? Put your snap ring back down in there. Push it around. I don't know if I'm far enough or not. Yeah, it looks like it. A lot of times you want to, you want to get it into such a position you got to snap it. Now roll it back over. Take Smart your socket. Yeah. Make sure you get it down below. Uh, didn't have it in there. Let's uh, you decided what all you want to give me.
<laughs> now we're sugaring 4.0. 